Welcome to the show, everyone. Today, I have Veronica Turner. You have met Veronica before. She was part of, she is part of the Inner Circle Mastermind, both the first year and moving forward in the executive track. And she launched a business this year called Nature's Sorcery. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that we did do an Instagram live. And you may have heard about her through the support small business movement that I did back in September that we all shared about. So this may not be the first time that you've heard it from Veronica. If you are listening on the podcast, we are doing a video. So if you want to watch and come over, come up and come on over and look at some of the products that Veronica has, uh, come on, come on over to jjflazanes.tv to check us out on video. And if you're watching it here on YouTube, there is a link below you can click to take it with you. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. You can take it as a podcast. So welcome to the show, Veronica. Hi, how are you? I'm good. So this is your introduction to the community in terms of Let's go back to before you and I worked together and you were just a listener. What were you looking for? Why were you tuning in? What were you looking to get? So I had started listening. I was listening to a different podcast um, and they had mentioned the law of attraction, the secret, and had talked about um, Jen Shinsero's book called You Are a Badass. And I read the book. I listened to it and kind of wanted more. So I searched law of attraction in podcasts because I was commuting an hour back and forth each day. So I had time and I le searched law of attraction on podcasts and found you. The name, the name was attractive to me. So, you know, mind, body, soul, um, spirit, purpose, and energy. I was like, cool, that's what I want. Awesome. And uh, oh, God bless the days when people could search those things. Uh, this, the whole podcast world has changed. And unless it's in the title of your show, you do not have search words anymore. And that was a growth point for me. Most people were typing in law of attraction and astrology and numerology to find spirit, purpose and energy, which made it easier to attract the right kind of people. So you how long had you been listening before you reached out to me? Um, I think I was listening maybe um, seven, eight months, maybe a year before I reached out, I think you had a, a starter, a two pack starter pack. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. See what it, see what I get. And here you are. Uh, <laughs> at this, this point, this was probably, let's see, you came to the boot camp, you joined the mastermind boot camp was October, 2019. Yeah. And you and I were working together before that, probably around the summer, maybe. Yeah. Right. It was so late it, summer. Right. So it's, we're, we're definitely a year and a half. We're definitely a year and a half in here. And and again, what, you know, in terms of what you were looking for in your life. Um, okay, so one of the things that you we, you and I talked about in the green room before we started recording was what to call today's episode. What was the what was the theme for you in terms of your growth and evolution from when you started listening to the show till now, including your year in the mastermind and your decision to move forward into the executive track. And you said that there is no better than here. Yeah. So I felt like there was something missing in my life. You know, I, I had a great marriage. I have a great marriage. I have great kids. I have really nothing to complain about. But I always felt like there was something missing, something more that I was destined for, um, which there is. But I always felt like, oh, I need to get there and I need to make this amount of money and I need to have this kind of car and this kind of house, you know, and when really, you know, this house is, you know, we've lived in it for almost 20 years. It's, it's a great house. We had it built to what we, the way we wanted it built. So what really am I looking for when I, when I already have it? So let's answer that. What were you really looking for? Um, I think it was just happiness with me and who I am. Um, it had nothing to do with anybody else. And, and I was lashing out at people like, really angry and in a negative space. And I was like, that's not me. I'm not, you know, there's really nothing to be angry about, <laughs> you know? And so, so it was, I'm here. I'm already here. When I was a little kid, I wanted to have, you know, I wanted to be successful, but what does success mean? You know, and I am successful in, in, you know, compared to family members and friends, I think I'm successful. Would that have been the same would you have made that same statement two years ago? No. 
So what changed from uh, I want to be there, okay, so there is no better than here. Where's there? And and that you realize that there is no more there. Like at what point in this evolution from listening to the show, reaching out to work with me, coming to the boot camp, joining the mastermind, what were the lessons that had to be learned to get you to realize that that you are here and there is no there? Right. Learning to love myself for sure. Um, my mindset changed a lot. Um, I feel like I'm in a higher vibration than I was, you know, two years ago for sure. I was again, in a very negative space, looking at, at my body, I wasn't happy with it. I'm, I mean, I'm still not happy with it, but I know I'm changing and I'm making strides in the positive way to change my body. You know, things like that. The way I eat is changed. Um, and I, I see I'm affecting other people in my life to do the same. So I think it's, it's a great change. Have people in your life noticed a difference with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What kind of feedback do you get? Um, just being happier, more positive. Um, you know, I'm no longer just putting things aside. And I'll get to that later. I used to have a um, a quote that I love to say, and it's a, from Gone with the Wind. I won't think about it today. I'll think about it tomorrow. <laughs> when really, you know, when is tomorrow? <laughs> right. It's it's not yeah it's like pushing it off for another day and another day another day never comes so really right. it just doesn't get dealt with right so I I I want to I want to really emphasize the progress that you've made and I want to to shout on the rooftops <laughs> about your products and I want and we're going to share them with everybody but I, I still want to go on this journey because again there are a lot of people who are out there who are sitting where you are and where you were in terms of not being happy thinking i have to have a different house i have to have a different body i have to have success in a different way in order for me to feel better and you know by the the conversation we're having right now one would think okay well you're at peace with where you are so then the question becomes why keep working why do the second year of the mastermind why invest more and, and make a bigger uh, you know take a bigger leap so to speak in terms of, so tell tell us about how that, how you feel about that, how you interpret that. Like, because someone may say, well, if I'm just so, supposed to be happy with the here and now, it means, does that mean that I don't try for more? Right. Things change um, daily, hourly. I know that um, I love my, my day job. I love it. But there will come a time where I will retire. And then what? Well, at that point, I want to know that I have something already started that I can sustain my life with and something that makes me happy, you know, and provides something for other people. Yeah. So Veronica comes to the boot camp and I'm sure I probably said, hey, you, you know, do you want to come? You, you're one of those. What, what did Crystal call you? The silent stealth silent the, sniper. The silent sniper. She <laughs> called you the silent sniper at this last retreat because Veronica, there are several people who are moving on to sort of the higher level executive track in the in the mastermind. And, and Veronica is not the normally she's a little more shy. She doesn't even though she's starting a podcast uh, like several of them um, and you're doing great. But, uh, you know, in the beginning, you were you just sort of looked you would be quiet and sort of observe and you weren't like the chattiest of course that changes with a little bit of alcohol and about a year's <laughs> worth of being around people because you were you were who I know you are more uh on that first night we were all together on Thursday in Santa Barbara you were just it was it was awesome to see where <laughs> you I know you can go without substances right, right. Like without right. alcohol yeah. right um, like where we remove any inhibitions when you aren't editing yourself when you are just free to be you at that at that level and i've seen a lot of growth uh, in the last year among this community uh, of ladies that we currently have in the mastermind so let's talk about why you joined because i remember when you said at you said it was coming to the boot camp you were a private client doing health and wellness things. And then I, I mentioned the boot camp, and you're like, okay, I'm going to come. And I think that was a big step for you, right? Like you had never oh, tell us about that. Um, just leaving, you know, my husband and my kids are everything. They're my, my inner circle, you know, and we do everything together. We go to the grocery store together. We go, you know, out to the park together. We go to little fairs together. And you know, my kids are 21 and 17 now but we still do those things you know if they have time they're not doing school or work and we have they have time we're going to go do 
restaurants together. We're going to go, you know, hang out together, no matter what it is. And for me to step out of that and say, hey, I'm going somewhere without you guys. It was really big for me, you know, especially since TJ was born, you know, and he's 21 now. So it's so it was a long time. 21 years. You haven't yeah. done anything for you like just right. you. Right. Just me. And just why me. did you do it? Um, I felt I needed it. I needed to get that confidence without having them as my crutch. I feel there's plenty of times that I kind of hide behind Jason and let him be the outgoing one. And I just, I'm the supporter. <laughs> I support everybody and everything. You know. Well, that was not you on Thursday in Santa Barbara. You were, <laughs> Jason was not there to uh, be the outgoing one. You took yeah. that and ran with it. I almost only wish we would have recorded some of it uh, <laughs> because it was awesome. It was awesome. So, okay, now you've come to the boot camp, and again, because <laughs> you because because generally you're pretty quiet, so like you mm -hmm. didn't say anything, you didn't indicate in any way at the time that the mastermind was something you were interested in, and all of a sudden, I think you so told me in a session. Yeah, I'm thinking about joining the mastermind. I was like, oh, okay, out of left field. Like, that's cool. And so tell us about this idea that you had. How long have you had an idea to make these products or go into business for yourself? Well, I went to school for business. Um, I got my degree in business. It was actually a very, the school I went to was very big on entrepreneurialism. So I knew I had it in me. I just, I became a mom stay at home mom off and on for the past 20 years, you know? And so it was like, you know, what do I want to do? When, it, when is, when is it going to be my time? You know, and as the kids get older, I'm like, they don't need me as much as they needed me when they were little. And so I need to step out and Hey, do something for myself. And for me, it was almost a no brainer that it was, um, plant medicine, you know, because it's something I grew up with. It's something that I still practice on a daily basis here at home. My kids don't, when they get sick, I don't give them, you know, medicine, traditional medicine or conventional medicine. I give them, you know, plant medicine. So, so this year in the foundation level of the Inner Circle Mastermind, uh, Nature's Sorcery was born. It was born and it was birthed. And we have uh, some products. You have five products now. Oh, I need, you know what? The hangover cure is downstairs. It's in my kitchen where it should be next. Yeah. Okay. But uh, <laughs> Veronica launched with, um, with three products. Well, one, let's start with the first one. So let's, let's talk about the, the, you've been, you've been using plant medicine and natural herbal remedies. You, that's what your grandmother did for you. That's what you've done for your kids. And it's been something you've been thinking about doing. And now you're in the space of committing to, I'm going to do this this year. And I know we went back and forth with all different kinds of names for it. And you landed on nature sorcery and you have a really great logo and uh, you knew which product you were going to start with, which was the elderberry syrup and the tincture. So you want to talk about that? Sure. Elderberry is high in vitamin C. It's a antiviral, it, antimicrobial. Um, it's an immune booster. So it's not going to suppress your immune system. It's not going to maintain your immune system. It's going to boost it. And it's a great daily tonic. I just took some. For those of you who are not watching the video, <laughs> I just showed you the bottle and I just took some. And, um, and I do take it, it sits on my desk so that I can remember to take it. And it's funny because I haven't eaten anything today yet. I'm, I'm fasting, but that the first on my tongue this morning, there's a little chocolate essence to this elderberry. Oh, I, I, I taste chocolate and the wine taster in me is like, Oh, I taste berry on the front of the tongue. I taste chocolate on the back end. Uh, you know, for those <laughs> that don't know, I have a podcast called something to wine about. And we, we get pretty deep into wine and tasting this for the first time today without anything else on my palate, while it has a berry flavor, there's like a chocolate hint, like as an undertone of chocolate, it's, which is really, I, which I have never noticed before because I haven't been paying attention. But uh, so for those of you that don't know what elderberry tastes like, elderberry is a dark fruit and a lot of dark fruits in wine also can taste like, like have chocolate undertones again. It's not chocolate and it's, it's, there's no sugar in it, but it's that it's like the hint of those flavors. And so elderberry is just, yeah, it's really yummy. And, um, I really love your, your tincture and 
I think that for those of you that want another remedy, if you at this point, everyone has heard about elderberry, I think, I hope. And if you have it, look it up because um, it's extremely powerful. It's all natural and it tastes good, most importantly. So, okay. So we started with the, the elderberry syrup and I remember getting the first bottle of that. Still have those downstairs. Uh, and then we went to what was next? Was it the tea or the F that? The F that. Okay. Yeah. Talk about that. So a lot of people complain about pain and popping, you know, I don't want to say brand names, but ibuprofen, you know, aspirin, it's, it's not good for you. It and just, let me it, tell you, it isn't good for you, but let's go why. Let's talk about some of the reasons why. Right. I think the biggest reason that those chemicals are not good for you to be taking on a regular basis. Most importantly, the, the most overlooked, I think, for most people is that it actually will start to create micro tears in your gut lining, which mm -hmm. will then lead to leaky gut. When you put chemicals in your intestinal tract and in your digestive tract, those are harsh. They're not easy to break down. The body isn't supposed to have those levels of acid and, and, and chemicals at that level and taking a lot of pills, and that's all pharmaceuticals, by the way, but especially over-the-counter ones that you think aren't that harmless because they're or not that harmful because they're over-the-counter, over time will wear away at, at the integrity of your gut lining, therefore creating leaky gut. Leaky gut will often lead to autoimmune disorders, and people think, oh, well, there's, this is nothing I can do about this. Uh, there is. Uh, many mm -hmm. times there, there, there is. So there are solutions and leaky gut and healing leaky gut and cleaning up your digestion, which makes up 80% of your or 75% of your immunity is a huge place to start. So, uh, so anyway, so in terms of Veronica wanted to make a pain relief that wasn't chemical based. And so let's talk about what's in F that I just took some for those of you that are on the video. <laughs> like, okay. And I took it without water. It It's more medicinal tasting than the elderberry. I mean, right. it is an alcohol. They both are in alcohol, but this one has a little bit more of like the burny sensation that you would get in your mouth from either alcohol or, you know, again, some kind of herbal remedy. And I know you say you can also take it in water. I just like the burny sensation. Just put it, you know, I just take it <laughs> directly and then you want to chase it with some water. That's good. But let's talk about what's in this. Right. So the strongest ingredient in there is peppermint, which is great because it, it opens up the senses, the sinuses, a lot of people complain about sinus pressure. It helps to kind of reduce that pressure. Um, I had somebody, I had Liz, you know, contact me during the wildfires in California and she had taken a walk and come back in and her lungs were bothering her. So she just asked me, you know, can, is, can I take your products? And I said, well, they're not meant for that, but sure, try it out. And um, she said, they just cleared up her, her lungs. She felt the sensation of the peppermint going down and burning all the way down, but she said it cleared it up. Awesome. So that was a non, you know, non-label use. <laughs> well, and again, so peppermint's in it, but what else is in it? Okay, so we've got organic chamomile, organic yarrow, organic peppermint, organic catnip, and then grain alcohol. Can we talk about the catnip for a second? Because yeah. <laughs> I, I can't remember if I took it or Doug took it and then sugar went crazy and, yes. and, or yeah, because there's catnip in it. And I don't think most people know that humans can take catnip. So what are the right. benefits of catnip? Obviously so catnip has the opposite effect that it does in cats to humans. So in humans, it has more of a sedative effect. Not sure why, but it, it does. And it, it kind of calms you down. That's why the chamomile is in there. Sometimes when you have a headache and it's throbbing and you're like, you start to get stressed out like why you know i want to get rid of this it hurts you know so chamomile will help to ease that um sometimes you have a stomach ache chamomile is great for that too um yarrow is just a great all-around herb it's great for the sinuses as well um you know we're breathing in toxins you know unfortunately and sometimes your headache is is environmental so we've addressed headaches, possibly lung burning from fires and inhaling smoke and pollutions and toxins and environmental, you know, issues. And then what about joint pain and inflammation? What else? What about digestive issues? What, would this help? Yes, because the chamomile is in there. 
So it, it chamomile is great. Um, it's a good tummy tummy tamer. You know, it's a great herb to give to your kids if you have um, if they have tummy aches. That's what I was given. That's what I gave my kids when you know, even when they were little and drinking from the bottle. I made the tea, let it cool down, poured it in the bottle, and let them take it. I love it. Yeah. So this is why this year has been a focal point to bring some of these into reality to help other people and to continue to share with people what has worked for you and your family and the things that you believe people can start with that they don't have to jump to drugs. And even if they are on drugs, they can maybe reduce the amount that they're on and that they don't always need to and that they could try home remedies first because that's what you were taught, yep. um, which I, which I love. Now we have the sleepy time tea. Yes. Okay. That so, was next. Yeah. And that one has chamomile as well. It has lavender and hibiscus in it. Um, lavender and chamomile, great at, you know, calming you down when you're, you know, your mind's racing, when you're laying in bed going, oh, I still have to do this. I have to do that. You know, it kind of helps you to calm down a little and, you know, catnip in there as well. I saw catnip. Yeah. Now, Veronica, hopefully will, you know, I'm, I love to have tea but I'm the worst at using yes. loose leaf tea. And I even have all the things, but I, um, I I want you to develop a thing of your own so that I can use yours because I'll have to feel more purposeful if I'm using the, you know, the tea strainer, the reusable tea strainer um, that has your logo on it or yes. I think we've talked about possibly even, you know, astrological signs or something crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, now you have two other products. I know the most recent one we're going to talk with, that'll be the last one. Yeah. What's the fourth one? So I have a, um, it's a lemon ginger honey. I I just infuse honey with lemon and ginger. It's local honey. Um, so I kind of keep it local to local people. I have several people that have already repurchased from their first time. It's a great thing to add to your tea or just plain water. In the morning, um, I keep it in my fridge, you know, have tea. You want a sweetener in there, just add the ginger lemon honey. It's great to um, reduce inflammation because of the ginger and the, and the lemon. Um, if you're feeling a cold coming on, that ginger and lemon are, are great for that as well. Um, sometimes you get, you know, something stuck in your throat first thing in the morning. Just take it with some water, some warm water. And local honey is good for helping you to deal with and assimilate any pollutants or allergens in the environment because taking the honey in an area can help you acclimate so that your body isn't in histamine response to some of the, the, poll the pollen in the air or whatever else could possibly be agitating your allergies. So for anyone who didn't know that, you know, I think we did, I did three shows on honey uh, with Joyce. Dales of, uh, of Cold Be Gone, right? So we talked about all the uses of honey and all the different kinds of bee products, right? And so honey is extremely powerful. For those of you, for those of you that have not heard those shows, there are literally three shows about bee products and the power of honey. So uh, you can go find those or ask me and I'll direct you to where those shows would be to find, to go a little deeper because we go really, really, really deep with, with honey and all the different bee products. Okay, now the fifth product. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. So it's a hangover relief product. Um, it's a simple, you know, three ingredient product that helps to detox your body after a night of too much. <laughs> like that Thursday night in Santa Barbara. Yes. I actually like taking it the night before because of fasting. I don't want right. to take it in the morning. So if you know you've had a lot to drink, uh, I know we were all standing around the kitchen and got silly pictures of, you know, Gail with a big, massive knife stirring, <laughs> stirring her uh, hangover cure, <laughs> which that picture alone should be like, hi, I've had too much to drink because I'm using this <laughs> knife to stir this, this glass. Uh, but the three ingredients are chlorella, chia seed, and maca root, right. and then you put it in coconut water. And Veronica has a PDF download that you can get for free with the, with the recipe on it so you can make it yourself. And while I love to make things myself and I have all of those ingredients, <laughs> I'm like, I found myself saying, hey, can you just make it for me? I would rather just buy it from you already pre-made. So right. uh, 
So talk to us about, because I love your little, because you have samples. So for those of you yeah. that are curious and you want to try it, um, and we can talk about the ingredients and the reasons why you would want to use it and definitely have it on hand and when to use it and how much to use. Uh, but it's called the hangover cure. And so if you want to try a sample of it or download the free PDF with the recipe on it so you can make it yourself, go to don'tgetahangover.com. So don't get a hangover.com uh, and then just give Veronica your information. You'll get the PDF right away. And if you want a sample, she'll send you a sample. All right. Yeah. So let's talk about the hangover cure. How long have you been doing this hangover cure? Oh gosh. I've been doing it maybe two, two, three years now. Um, you know, I've had several family members that have, Oh my God, this headache, you know, I had drank too much last night or after a family party, you know, I'm like, well, drink some of this. <laughs> So you just, did you experiment with different recipes when you first did it to get a certain response or did you just take the products that you knew right away would just be good and then kind of I, hoped it would work? So I knew coconut water for sure is super hydrating. It has potassium in it. It's great for putting those electrolytes back into your body. So that was a definite, you know, no brainer for me. Um, the chlorella detoxing, you know. Uh, again, another no brainer. The chia seed I kind of put in there because I knew that it would help to line my stomach. You know, sometimes you get that queasy feeling. You don't know if it's going to come back up after you drank it. Um, it. It's great in lining the stomach. You know, chia seeds get that little gel like consistency. Well, that's what it does in your stomach. And it lines it, helps to, you know, keep that moisture in as well, that hydration. Um, maca. Will you feel run down after being up late, drinking too much? Um, maca gives you a little energy. So do chia seeds. Yeah, and fiber. So it'll yeah. help move things out of your body faster. Yeah. Fiber is great. And like you said about the chia seeds, like it like pull toxins out. So, and for those of you who have not heard about uh, bits, so bits, the two bits that uh, that energy bit cells are made from, spirulina and or chlorella. And so we did a whole show called The Most Intelligent Food on the Planet. And we talked about the benefit of chlorella and the benefit of spirulina. They're two different kinds of algae and they do two different kinds of things. And the chlorella algae is the one that's very detoxifying and it pulls toxins out of your body and it helps to eliminate. And so, so basically, again, this is a pretty easy recipe, but I'll tell you, even having all of, the, all of the ingredients downstairs in my refrigerator and in my cabinet, I just wasn't doing it. I really love that you've made them into sample packets so that I can, because it's also the serving size. Yeah. And when we did it in Santa Barbara to test it out, Again, and I had to, and I wanted to test it out so we could talk about it here today. Uh, for those of you, let me let me go over the reasons why, because I it was interesting to see everybody try it or some people try it because people fall into a couple different categories. If you tell me something is good for me, I'm going to take it. Now, unless it smells or tastes like something that is literally, you know, so foul. I am most likely going to drink it, eat it, or take it if you tell me all of the positive benefits and why I need it and if I need it because that's who I care about my health very much. Some people uh, are not that way. And if something doesn't exactly taste great or right. then they won't do it. Like chocolate. And, <laughs> like, right. Right. If it doesn't taste amazing, even though there's so many health benefits, like ridiculous health benefits, I think that's, that's why... Uh, you know, energy bits, and they talk about, you know, the the equivalent of taking bits versus eating vegetables and how, how much more benefit you get from a smaller amount of bits that you'd have to get in so many vegetables, it's impossible to eat. So you kind of make those comparisons to sort of get people to take them. So what I love about the hangover cure is that number one, we're already toxic anyway. So the chlorella is going to help detoxify your body. The coconut water makes it taste sweet. Now, the only drawback for some people is that it's green. Okay, so it's green and it has chia seeds in it, right? And so some people are like, oh my gosh, yeah. like tapioca, right? You, you mix it really well and then you chug it. <laughs> now, that's for someone who has who who doesn't love, you know, who's who's more particular about having to have something taste amazing. But here's, here's why I'm going to tell you this is a good drink to have just on a regular basis anyway. Number one, the fiber. Most of us do not get enough fiber and your digestive tract needs help eliminating things. So if you have any kind of elimination issues, this is a good, same thing with the chlorella. The chlorella plus the chia seeds will help your 
Bowel movements will help you be regular, will help move things out of your body, clean your colon. And a lot of people, a lot of you have like really a lot of crap stuck, like literally crap stuck in your colon and you could look, probably lose a few pounds if you just clean it out. Yeah. So so besides hangover cure, and you can do this preemptively, like if you know you've had, there have been a couple nights since Santa Barbara that have had a little too much wine. And, okay. and rather than think, am I going to have a hangover in the morning and I'll take it after the fact, I take it before I go to bed at night which I prefer anyway. And then there was one night after doing like a lot of exercise and I thought this is a really great recovery drink also for when you're doing hiking or running or biking or some kind of, you know, half marathon, triathlon, over and 60 minutes of exertion. It's a great replenishment drink also for that. So, and it, you know, it's not, a lot of energy drinks have unnecessary stimulants yes. and you don't need those stimulants. And a lot of sugar. And a lot of sugar. And there, I mean, the sugar comes from the coconut water, but it's natural right. sugar found in coconut water. But the amount of fiber, the amount of protein, the amount of, you know, antioxidants and adaptogens in this drink are like insane. So if you can put yourself in the situation to say, if I drink something that tastes a little bit sweet, you know, and yes, it's green, get over the fact that it's green, but it's going to literally replenish your electrolytes and have you feel amazing and feel good and not have a hangover. I mean, come on. So I, so that's why we wanted to offer you to try it on yeah, today's and not show. To mention, not to mention, you don't have to indulge, overindulge in alcohol. It could be food. It could be, like you said, too much exercise or over exertion. You know, it's, it's a great right. balancer. Great. It is. It is. I took it, like I said, I took it the other day after exercise because um, my I felt a little depleted and I wanted, and I also wanted the detoxing properties of the chlorella and of the chia seeds. So anyway, don't get hangover.com if you aren't watching on the video. So Veronica will send you a sample and you can download the PDF to make it yourself and all of the, all of the ingredients and how to make it and the are all there, or you can also just get a sample and try it. Um, I literally took all the rest of the samples that Veronica brought because I plan on using them, not because I plan on drinking so much I'm having a hangover all the time, but because I love the nutrition of it. And that's the thing, even though you made this to be a hangover cure, I love the nutrition aspect of it. Well, for sure. I, I put it in my morning smoothie this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. And I would I hope everybody reaches out because during these holiday times where you are probably going to drink too much if you drink or you're going to eat stuff you don't normally eat, you know, some of you may not drink at all, but you, let's say you eat too much sugar or you eat dyes or you eat processed foods mm -hmm. or you eat, you know, foods Dairy. that, you know, have preservatives yeah. in them, right? Yeah. Then you may want to detox and this hangover cure will also detox you from that because again the chlorella and the chia seeds are going to um, move it all through you <laughs> right so if you don't like taking psyllium husk and you don't like taking fiber because you think so hey let's, let's put that out there so for those of you that take those drinks this is way better this yeah. is you and you are not going to be drinking something that i mean it's still liquid and when you do psyllium husk in water it's like you're drinking like this like yeah. that super gritty that is not this that that is not this nope. this has a little bit of that but it's not like that and if you feel that it would you can always pop it in a blender i haven't done that yet i'm gonna do that next i'd like to see how that so basically the blender would crush up the chia seeds right and then make it more make it thicker like a smoothie right now we should have done that in santa barbara because i bet you everybody would like that right just say it's a green smoothie it's a green smoothie yep. yeah and i bet you probably even could if you're putting it in a blender with some ice Mm -hmm. You probably could even put a little cocoa powder in it and make it yeah, chocolate really. and you could disguise the fact that it's green with some, and that's the thing. I watch people who don't eat very healthily, not, not all of you guys, but just, you know, people who tend to not do what I do, meaning like you, you care more that it tastes good than it's healthy for you, uh, which is fine if that's how you want to have it. But again, I'm encouraging everyone to care about what the quality of your food does to your health and your longevity. But I bet you had we mixed it as a smoothie and put some cocoa powder in it and made it chocolate, yeah, everybody would be like, this is amazing, <laughs> right? So it's, but it's just having the base of those, those ingredients to, again, replenish your electrolytes, hydrate your body, cleanse you, pull out toxins, and, uh, and, and again, give your cells, you know, I think chlorella, we talk about on the most, most intelligent food on the planet, we talk about how I think chlorella 
gives your body like the fluids that it needs also. And for people that are, I think for newborns or like if someone needs, oh, yeah. it's like fluids, like using the chlorella will help uh, provide that. Yeah. Okay. So Veronica, you have a business now called Nature Sorcery. Yeah. And again, you guys can check out the other products at naturesorcery.com. N-A-T-U-R-E-S, Nature's Sorcery. S-O-R, there's no U in it. Okay, S O R C E R Y dot com, Nature's Sorcery, to check out the other products. Um, and so, is there anything? So, the special, I guess, the, the JJ special will be that you actually can get a sample of the hangover cure to right. try it. Okay, so again, and the, and the course, getting the free recipe by going to don't get a hangover dot com, they can get the download PDF yeah. there, right? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so now what is next for Veronica? So we have created these products. You said yes to I'm I'm going full bore next year with the mastermind and my company. What are the goals? Um, to expand line um, products. Um, I want to have more products um, to help with different ailments. Just rebalancing the body, getting rid of inflammation overall. Because honestly, that's probably what's wrong with your body. <laughs> if you need something, um, rebalance everything, get it functioning properly. Um, so yeah, more products, maybe a subscription box here or there. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited. I don't want to say too much. Cause... I do want you to say too much because I want you to commit. So Veronica, <laughs> yeah, let's commit a little, okay. shall we, Libra Taurus Moon? Yeah. Um, because if you keep it swirling in your head and you don't tell anybody, then you don't have to commit to it. So because you have joined the executive track of the mastermind, you will be on the show a year from now. Yeah. And I would like people to be able to hear the progress that has been made. Now, now no pressure, meaning you know, Charlene oh, yeah. started out this year with a very specific, and you guys, you might've heard her talk about that um, in a show I did in November called The Price to Pay for Living Your Purpose. You know, she started out with thinking she was going to go down a certain path and then that path changed. And that's always what can happen when you're in business. You can completely, you can pivot, you can redirect, you can go down a, another leg, if you will, and go, wow, this really works well. I'm going to do this for a little while also, or and, or instead of. So not to pigeonhole you into holding you to certain goals, but what are some of the goals that you want to reach between now and a year from now okay so sticking kind of with the drinking theme we do um we have recorded some episodes of a podcast that we'll will be launching in the coming year um and it's around drinking beer um right now it's around drinking beer we might expand to different alcohols um and then i'd like to either start distilling my own infused alcohol or just infuse somebody else's alcohol. So, yeah. That's very exciting. And there are more things coming down the pipeline with nature's sorcery. So again, check out Veronica's products. Uh, there's also a way for you to just be on her mailing list for when she has new products and you want to follow her at nature sorcery on Instagram. And of course you'll hear more about her throughout the year here on the podcast as she's in the mastermind. And, uh, and, and I guess what I want to know from you is when you were sitting on the other side of this, interview or sitting outside of the podcast and you were just listening. I mean, what were some of the things that you needed to learn or grow into in order for you to take these kinds of leaps of faith and commitments of accountability and financial account uh, accountability to being in a group like this and to setting these goals? Like what would you have needed to hear or, and, or what have you learned to get you to this place that other people are still struggling with? Number one, for sure, learning to love myself. Um, number two has been, you are the creator of your own reality. So I am creating my reality. Um, I don't ask anybody for it. I mean, I do ask people for input, but I don't expect them to change my life. I am the one who's changing my life. So if someone's on the other side listening to this and they're they're where you were and they're thinking, I want to do a product, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Um, but I don't know if I can. I'm embarrassed. I work a full-time job. 
I don't know if I, you know, one of the things that I think some people think of when they, when they do something like joining the mastermind is that I have to, I have to achieve a certain amount of success or something. There's something I have to achieve. And, and I don't, and again, it's going to be different for everybody, whether it be financial or just completing the project or just starting the momentum going. Uh, what would your, like, what were your first goals for this, this year in the foundation level? Um, my goals were just to get started. I didn't know where where to start or how. Um, and I think just being in the membership helped me to, um, I learned a lot from each of the ladies, from the different presenters um, on just how to run my own business without having to have a degree, having to, um, because when I learned business, there was no social media. <laughs> It's a different landscape. It's a totally different landscape. And I think that was a, a stopping point for me for a minute. And I kind of let it trigger me. And, you know, and I was like, wait, you know, who? I know you've pushed through darker things. <laughs> this is just a computer. <laughs> it's not that hard. Well, and I believe that, correct me if I'm wrong, I did not go to school for marketing or business. Um, and every time I hear that someone, not you, but I'm just saying, I, I have, people in my past that, oh, I went to school for business. I'm like, do you have a business? Because when, you, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, like when you're sitting and learning about business, you're playing with other like, people's money. Like right. you, you, like you, you learn how to work inside an already established business that has a marketing budget, that has, a, has processes. It's like, right. try creating something out of nothing, period. Yeah. Right. Is that, would you agree? It's a whole different beast. It is. It definitely is. Yeah, when people are like, oh, I, I know somebody who's thinking about doing her, oh, she is doing her own thing. But people have said, oh, I need to spend money on marketing. I'm like, whoa, on advertising. I'm like, hold up. What do you need to spend money on advertising? Well, because when you work for a company and they spend money on advertising, they don't teach you how to make something out of nothing. They don't right. teach you. And there's actual ads that they have to put out. You know, right. Right. Paper. There are so many, like that is unnecessary as an entrepreneur right away when you have all social media and free tools, not to mention you don't even know what works yet. Like make a creating ad. So I, I just, in my experience of receiving people who've gone to business school, business school does not apply when you start your business because it doesn't teach you how to make something out of nothing right. without a big lump of like money up front. Right. Most people think, oh, I need to go get an investment. I did. I got an investment. And uh, that went away real quick because I I spent it like I had a company. I spent it on uniforms. I spent it on. Right. You know, I had T-shirts. I had I had stationery. I had marketing things. I had the website, but I had no clients. I had no strategy. I had no way of utilizing what I had at my fingertips. It didn't cost me any money on how to get clients. And so, um, what would be? What do you think the biggest thing you've learned this year would be in the business space? Um, not to let others negativity get you, get to you. Um, there's gonna, always going to be people that tell you, you can't do it or who are you to do this? You know, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, it's, it's your life, you know, and, and it's not for them. It's for you. They're not your customer. <laughs> I'm not. repeating a lot of JJ's words. No, that's okay. <laughs> but you're living them. And yeah. it's, it shows in the action that you're taking. It shows yeah. in the commitment that you're making. It shows in your growth in the, you know, I, it's too bad. We don't have everybody else on the podcast with us from the group to be like, yeah, Veronica came out of her <laughs> shell on that. The right. And, and it's not, it's, it's again, loving yourself, stepping into who you are. It's changing the dynamics. If you, you know, I know that you, when you came out to the podcast masterclass that Doug and I did in January, you also like when you pulled the trigger on that, you were like, Oh my God, I'm doing something crazy. It was free, but yes, you had to jump on a plane and you <laughs> spent the night. So then there was costs involved, but the, the, it was free. But again, it was only the second time you had like, again, left home to go do something that's <laughs> for you and has nothing to do with your kids necessarily. It, right. it was your husband too. But I think that that's going to resonate for some people because the we all have dynamics that we work within. And when you want to break or change that, we often feel we often feel resistance because we feel like we have that conversation of letting others down, not being there for them, hiding behind them. What if I fail? Well, not, what if this isn't right? That, but the, the role that was assigned to you in your family, 
So, you know, you're the, the smart one, the one that, you know, well, maybe I want to take some risks and see what's out there. I don't have to be who they said I am. Who are you now, Veronica, versus <laughs> who you were before? I'm a business owner. <laughs> Woohoo! You are a business owner. And we haven't even talked about that other thing we talked about. I'm not going to put that on you. But you had a whole, you had a very passionate idea about creating another line of products that I don't know if you're ever going to bring that yeah. back into the world, but that was very exciting. Yeah. Do you want to talk uh, about it? Um, I might. I think it's still back burner for me. Um, okay. I think the herbs are, are front and center for sure. Okay. All right. So make sure everybody, first of all, let's go to naturesorcery.com to check out Veronica's products. I would recommend, you know, we're, we're heading to the end of the year here. There's only a few weeks left in the year, but still, if you want a gift that's new and different, you know that people don't like drugs or they don't want to keep taking those things. I would definitely you have a bundle still, right, Veronica? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she sells this, you get a discount if you buy the bundle. And so you could buy a bunch of bundles for people for Christmas. I know again, we're, we're, nearing up here on the end of the year, but it may be even past Christmas for birthday presents for beginning of the year. Um, things that you give people because start the year off with higher immunity and calmer bodies, right? So check out naturesorcery.com. And of course, uh, please go download and get yourself a free sample of the don't get a hangover.com because I'm telling you it works. And again, this is not a podcast to promote that you over drink. This is just, they say that this is a health drink. It's a health drink that can help detoxify you. It's a drink that you have on hand if, and when you should eat or drink too much of things you don't like, and you don't want right. to feel bad in the morning. And it's also a post recovery drink. Right. And it doesn't have to be a, an alcohol hangover. True. So don't get a hangover.com. Get there, get it, uh, and then report back. And I love it the way it is, but I haven't tried blending it yet. And so I just gave you an idea there. Like if you want to get a kid to drink it uh, or a husband or wife that does one of those like, well, I don't like the way it tastes or I don't like the consistency, but they're willing to play with it, blend it, put some ice in it and some cocoa powder and maybe a little stevia, although you won't need it with the coconut water, you know, and then there you still have the same benefits in a different form that gets to trick them all into ha better health. I just thought of another one. Popsicles. 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 Blended. Pop. After blended, you blend it though. Blend it, throw them in a little um, popsicle tray, pop it in the freezer for a few hours and there you go. Excellent. All right, Veronica, any last words of, let's go back to today's theme for you for the last, since you, I guess, started working with me back in 2019, that there is no better than here and why that's important for moving forward just in all aspects, because your goals haven't changed, but your relationship to yourself has, right? Right. So my here is achieving everything that I want to do. Um, my here is, is being present, whether it's in the business or with my family or together, they can help me with my business as well. Absolutely. Yeah. We've talked about that in terms of getting your kids involved. When you create something that other people can help you with, it becomes a family business and, yeah. and that's great. Um, any other goals for you, maybe either personally or like what you're looking forward to in 2021? Yeah. Just getting, um, my health, I've, you know, you, you know, I've been going to a functional medicine doctor, getting my health back in order, um, getting myself back in order. So that's, that's personally something I'm learning to do. I've, I think I've traveled this year more than I have in the past 20 years. So, <laughs> so that that's been exciting. Even through COVID, I've traveled more than I have ever and um, more traveling for sure and getting that business to be self-sustaining. And, you know, Veronica is also, I've encouraged her that she she's in groups on Facebook and off of Facebook. Um, she's in groups where people are wanting to do similar things with herbs. So the other thing I'm going to say is reach out to, to Veronica through Nature Sorcery if you are wanting to create products and you haven't done it yet, because she may be available to help you. Uh, get it done since she's already done it, right? And so rather than try to figure it out on your own, she may be someone who could guide you through through a small group or, you know, one-on-one -on -one sessions or something. If you are somebody who's been sitting on a product idea and you're like, how do I make these? How do I do this? I don't know how to do it. And 
Um, and, and I want help from someone who's done specifically that. Definitely reach out to Veronica and see if if she's available to to make some time for you or if joining one of the masterminds is right for you. We now have three levels. There's two levels of the inner circle and a new group called the emerging. So uh, would love to have you entertain that. If it's something you're interested in, go to JJ's inner circle mastermind.com to fill out an application. It's free to apply. There's no cost. We can have a conversation, but if you're attracted to Veronica's products, the herbs, the natural, uh, the tinctures, the teas, the hangover cure, the things that she's making and you want her help, go to nature source com and drop her an email and tell her you heard about her on the show and you'd like to hire her to help you do your products. Yeah. Happy to right. help. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Veronica, thank you for today's episode. Guys, hang out for the next year because you're going to hear the, the before and after pictures from uh, Veronica. If she has her current five products yes. and uh, we will be reporting back a year from now uh, to see what has happened and the growth. Yeah. So, NatureSorcery.com, don't get a hangover.com, and don't forget that there is no better than here. Yes. And being in alignment and being grounded and being ready is the place of where your power is. And then you make decisions from right where you are. Right. Excellent. Thanks, Veronica, for being here. Thank you, JJ.